Good morning to all young wrestling fans, just some fun here. I'm here today to give all of you a spoiler for today's episode of the CBS Daytime Drama the Young Wrestlers. I'm here today to read all of it to you. It's all of you. Here's a spoiler. Here's, here it is. At Constance's house, she is puzzled, she is pu she's puzzled over why Gabriel's dog would bark at him. Sage wonders if he felt abandoned. Constance is an old fool. Dog knows he's not the same man he used to be. She clarifies that he's different on the outside. Sage takes Constance to her room after she and Adam bicker. He wonders what her motivation is for helping him. By helping him reclaim his life. She, she's given Gabriel a chance to live again. She urges him to act more like Gabriel. To listen to women. They respond to him. Adam will do whatever he has to do. He has to get out of that the house and back to his life. Later, Adam, but then later, Adam wakes up shouting Chelsea's name. Constance wants to know who she is. Sage, and then Sage appears and says Chelsea, says Chelsea is where Gabriel lived abroad. Constance is appeased. Once alone, Adam looks up Chelsea online. Then. Ben visits Victoria's hospital, hospital room to ask if Maureen turned up in there. She checked it out herself. Victoria hasn't seen her and tells him it's time for DNA, for DNA tests. She rants about Maureen letting Ben take the blame. Ben tries to explain why he kept quiet and why he wanted it out now. Victoria says his honesty means a lot. Talk about whether he'll get his medical license back. Ben is more concerned with how she sees him now. Billy, Chelsea, and the boys enter too. Chelsea entered. Ben decides to go. He says to Billy, however this plays out, Billy nods. You too. Chelsea ends up alone with Victoria. She knows how much having a baby means to Victoria. Victoria thanks her for saying that. Chelsea says if Billy, if she's Billy's, she will always be welcome in their home. Chelsea assures Victoria she loves Billy. He returns and Chelsea exits. Billy gets swapped for DNA. He and Victoria are nervous about the results. Billy says whatever happens, she can count on him. Chelsea returns to Billy and leaves with her. Victoria looks at the baby's eyes and wonders if if they're like Ben's or Billy's. And then, Devon finds Hillary in her Jabot's, op in Jabot's office and they kiss. She wishes they could stay like that forever, but Neil is waiting at home. They continue to kiss as Phil steps off the elevator and complains that the closed office doors. She enters and make a small, make small talk. Devon introduces Hillary. Phyllis asks about Jack's meeting. Hillary says it might be at the club. She urges, she goes, and Hillary hisses. That was too, way too close. They kiss more. Devon locks the door and puts on blue owl music to set the mood. They cuddle and talk about how one day they won't have to pretend. Hillary knows the, the time and panics. They return to reality. Talk to Thanksgiving. Tur talk turns to Thanksgiving at and Lily's lunch. Here we pick the Varnines, standing girlfriend. They reluctantly part ways and leave slept separately. Then at the club, Jack tells Kelly they need to talk. They discuss her mother. After several attempts, Jack finally says he doesn't want to hurt her. She replies, "Then don't." Kelly keeps talking over him. He finally tells her they don't have a future. Phyllis appears and cuts him off. She gets his gestures to Kelly. Did Jack tell you? She says. We're getting married. She says. She goes on about Kelly. About Kelly being the event planner. Kelly players at Jack. Who says Kelly is just leaving. 
Phyllis wants to set a meeting with Kelly first. Then Ben interrupts to tell Kelly that Marine left the hospital. And Jack, Jack offers to help. Kelly tells him to leave with his fiance. Ben asks Kelly what was that all about. She stammers. Ben has something to say. I can't wait. He tells her that he didn't kill her father. Marine did. He explains about the abuse Marine hid from her. Now she couldn't take it anymore. Kelly sighs about their mother. Sighs about how their mother could do that to Ben. So selfish. They argue about wet weather to look for Marine. Kelly says they don't have they don't have to look for themselves now. He asks what's going on. She won't discuss it. He needs to focus on his life. You know, that was very rude. You know, I, you know, you know, Phyllis, Phyllis is, is, is a little rude, don't you think? I knew that, I, yeah, I knew what's going to happen, what Phyllis is going to do, do, do something to Kelly. At the Abbott, and then at the Abbott house, Jack grumps to Phyllis about being overwhelming to Kelly. She should have kept the engagement news to herself. Phyllis wonders if she wants to marry her. He reassures her. He is more alive than, more alive with her than he has always been with anyone. She takes him upstairs to prove himself. And then at the penthouse, Billy admits the test results are getting to him. Chelsea eases his anxiety with a shoulder rub. They kiss. Well. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sneezing. Well, that's my little spoiler for all of you young Russell's fans that I just read to all of you. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. All you have to do is subscribe to me, Justin Fleming. I can give you updates on what's going on and what's happening on the CBS Daytime drama with the young Russell's. All you have to do is subscribe to me at any time. Out of here, peace. Call now to find out.